SCP-682 has escaped containment. Full site lockdown initiated. This video is sponsored by Parabooks. The crowdfunded SCP art books are now available on Amazon, but this collection is more than just art books. They are authentic research journals. Each of the 192 page journals are full of articles and secret files describing the most notable, creepy, and intriguing anomalous objects the Foundation contains, accompanied by professional illustrations from artists around the world. The set also comes with an SCP-themed slipcase design, exclusively on Amazon. If you want even more SCP art, start the new year in style with a set of high-quality posters featuring professional illustrations of some of the most iconic SCPs. Each poster is two-sided and comes shipped in a sturdy tube to prevent damage increases. With a detachable calendar grid at the bottom, these beauties can be hung all year long. Follow the Shopify link in the description to see all sorts of SCP-related goodies. Click the Buy on Amazon button and it'll bring you directly to the product page. We can't wait for what Parabooks has in store for us. Sir, I know our proposal is unusual, but this type of destruction is what we risk keeping SCP-682 and 053 apart. I never took you as someone who overvalued human life, Dr. Buck. It's not about the loss of personnel. It's about the constant cost of SCP-682's frequent rampages. I will not have my research of the creature limited due to the Foundation's inability to contain a single Keter abnormality. Placing it in a room with the girl has been a proven strategy to reduce its outbursts. It would give us a chance to perform some legitimate scientific experiments on the reptile for once. Very well, Dr. Buck. I will approve the cohabitation on a probationary period. But termination-related experiments conducted by Dr. Clough will continue to happen in isolation. Is that understood? Of course, sir. You know, I never actually thought we'd live to see the day. You're the one that has always been against throwing kids at the death alligator, if memory serves. Normal kids, yes. It's a terrible idea. But 053 is not what you call normal. Neither is 682. Oh, you haven't heard? It's actually Lizzie now. 053 calls the hard-to-destroy reptile Lizzie? Sure does. Devourer of sad staff and rampage and murder beast. Lizzie the Lizard. It's kind of her pet. Clearly, 053's powers leave 682 in a more agreeable state, but I'd hardly call these two best friends. I don't know, Dr. Buck. I think once you tea party together, you're usually buds for life. Well, no one cares what you think. Ain't that the truth? Now quit wasting time. Take the reptile to testing area 1032 for further destructive experimentation. And interrupt the tea party? You're as cold-blooded as they say, Dr. Buck. Jesus, an acid bath injected chemicals, now radiation? Dr. Buck really doesn't hold back. <sighs> she never has. And its vitals? Technically, it's dead, but we both know that doesn't mean much. See, you can already tell it's regenerating. So what's next? The PSX-820. What the hell is that? Mm, I'd call it a gun, but... Cannon may be the more accurate word. It was initially designed to penetrate certain anomalous heavy armored vehicles. We're hoping to be able to reduce 682's mass by up to 65% with a single shot, depending on the power setting and how well you aim. Well, I'm no crack shot, but this is basically shooting fish in a barrel. Huh, that's new. What in the world? I have no idea what you're up to down there, but it ends here. We shall see, Dr. Clef. All right, that's it. Nice shot, Dr. Clef. 
Looks like I got a bit more than 65%. I'll say. Now, uh, Dr. Collinwood, what's going on? I... I don't know. I, I can't see anything. Dr. Clef? Dr. Clef, please respond. Dr. Clef! Oh, not good. Dr. Collingwood reporting a potential breach in... Wait. No. All the comms are down. What is going on here? I know who you are, Alto Clef. Then you should know what will happen if you kill anyone else in this containment site. The Chowder Clef containment protocol activates. Boom, 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 all the way home. And that's just the beginning. You think you know pain? You have no idea. Not even the slightest clue. The plans we have set up will haunt you to the ends of the earth and beyond. You are lying. There is no such Chowder Clef containment protocol. I know who you are. I know what you are. Of course I'm lying. I'm the devil, remember? Just when you think I'm down for the count, I'll be back to stop you, roaming the earth like a roaring lion. You may have once loved the goddess, the mother of demons, but that does not make you the devil. I'm warning you, 682. Don't do something you're gonna regret. If you want a piece of somebody, come after me. There will be much death to come, and there's nothing you or anyone else in your precious foundation can do to stop it. For years, I've barely heard you utter a word. Why are you so chatty all of a sudden? There are reasons. Reasons which are my own. Now that I have returned to my glorified form, I can see clearly once again. Glorified form? What the hell are you anyway? What the hell are you doing here? I waited. The others have ridden forth already. Conquest, war, famine. Only I remain. The Horseman of the Apocalypse. So you're what? Death? Huh. Should have figured. I am not death. I am her steed. Her steed? I await my rider. It is time for me to go. Wait! Why didn't you kill me? Who is your rider? What are you planning to do? What? For what it's worth, Alto Clef. I am sorry. You're sorry? For what? I am sorry for everything that I have done to you and yours. I am sorry for all the innocents I have killed. I am sorry for all that I have done which you do not know of. And though I am not responsible, I am sorry for everything else you have lost. I am sorry that there is nothing I can do to make amends for any of it. My master calls. I don't... I don't understand. Above all, I am sorry for all that is to come. Oh, thank God. Dr. Clef! <gasps> there! What are you drawing over there, 053? Lizzie? See? Its name is not Lizzie. It's SCP-682. Do you know how many six is? This many. Not even close. Dr. Buck, come in, Dr. Buck. Are you still with 053? I took a break to avoid entering a violent psychotic rage, but I'm back with her currently. You have to get out of there now. SCP-682 has escaped. The power went out in the observation room, so I don't know what happened. But I'm listening back to the audio now, and I think it's coming for Abby. I am not dead. I am her steed. I await my rider. It is time for me to go. Abby? Oh, by three! The girl! Leave now! The alarms! Ah! Is Lizzie coming for me? You knew he was going to escape. Lizzie always told me he was gonna come for me when the time was right. And that his real name is Atanti, but I like to call him Lizzie. <laughs> what else do you know? What are you holding from us? Shoot 682 before it escapes! Why aren't you firing? Come on! And risk hitting the girl? I'm not trying to die. Dr. Buck, were you able to escape? 
No, but 682 did, and he took the girl. 